Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing, back with another episode of Talking Trident, where we answer your questions right here on our channel. In today's episode, we're gonna be going over how to layer for your next fly fishing trip, or more specifically, what you should be wearing under your waders. Now, before we dive in, I wanna start with a little bit of a disclaimer. We're gonna be covering how to layer, and this is gonna be really important for cold conditions or conditions that start cold and get warmer. But if you're fishing on your local trout stream and it's 75 degrees and sunny out, do you really have to go out and follow these instructions to the T? Probably not. You can probably throw in your waders on top of a pair of shorts, wear your favorite fishing shirt and be good to go. And that's gonna be perfectly fine. But if you're taking a trip to Alaska or Argentina or someplace really far away, and you wanna be really well prepared, that's what this video is for. And of course, it's also gonna help you for those rainy days, those really cold, cold days when you just have the itch to get out there and fish. That's where layering becomes really, really important. And additionally, if you're a skier or some other outdoor enthusiast, you're probably gonna find that this video has a lot of information that you already know. And we're just gonna reinforce that. So let's get started. Layering for fly fishing is pretty straightforward and simple. And it's made up of three layers. Your base layer, your mid layer or your insulating layer, and your outer layer, which is gonna be your waders or your raincoat. Starting with your base layer, you're gonna want a base layer that's moisture wicking. The primary function of that layer is to keep your skin dry so you don't get cold. And probably the most important thing about that layer is that you don't use any cotton. Cotton gets wet, you get cold, and as they say, cotton kills. Though probably not many people have died fly fishing in cotton. I really like a high performance base layer that's either a nylon or if I'm going on a long trip and I can't do a lot of laundry, wool tends to resist odor a lot better than those nylon and other plastic materials. Now, before I move on to the mid layer, we have to talk socks, which are sort of a base layer, but also sort of a mid layer. I like to wear a light to medium hiking sock under my waders and your mileage may vary. The important thing to note is you wanna give yourself enough room to get that blood flow going. And remember that most of the insulation in your waders is actually gonna come from that five millimeters of neoprene in your stocking foot. If you're fishing in a warmer climate, your bottom base layer might just be a pair of boxers, just something to resist a little bit of chafing when you don't need all that extra warmth. Now onto the mid layer. The mid layer is gonna be there to insulate you. You still want a layer that's gonna breathe well, but Primarily, this is what's gonna keep you warm on the water. And there are lots of options for mid layers out there. But for most fishing, a fleece is gonna be the best choice. Something that's warm, breathable, and super, super comfortable. Of course, brands like Sims and Orvis also make down bottoms in case you're fishing steelhead in those icy, icy cold waters. But by and large, those are gonna get too hot to use all day long for most fishing situations. On top, you're more exposed to the wind, and I actually find that a down top works really well as a mid layer. But you can also use a high pile fleece instead. And that brings us to our top layer, which is going to be our waders. But on top, you also wanna throw on a rain jacket slash windbreaker. And the purpose there is to keep you dry and unsurprisingly out of the wind. And another benefit to wearing a rain jacket is if you fall in the river, like I've definitely never ever done, it'll actually help you float and keep you reasonably dry even if you are mostly totally submerged. It's a nice little piece of insurance that's even better than wearing that wading belt, which you should also always do. I wanted to briefly interrupt this review to let you know that this video is supported 100% by your purchases at Trident Fly Fishing. So if you're in the market for some new tackle, check us out at tridentflyfishing.com. Now, before we wrap up, I did wanna leave you with a little bit of food for thought, which is how to adjust these layers for varying temperatures out there. And the truth is there's lots of variations in both mid and base layers that are gonna let you dial that in for your perfect temperature range. Patagonian Sims make lightweight, midweight, and even heavyweight base layers. And if you get really, really cold, you can combine that ultra heavyweight base layer with an 800 fill down top and you'll be incredibly, incredibly toasty. 
Just make sure it all fits in your waders. Tell us how you layer by leaving us a comment in the box below, and don't forget to leave us your questions for our next episode of Talking Trident. I'm Ben, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.